Hi, a mascot here with the first episode of Quests in the Making in quite a while. Uh, this is Quests in the Making number four, uh, and I haven't, yeah, I haven't made one of these in a very long time. Mostly because by the time information is given to us on quests, um, it's you know already very clearly out there in like a behind the scenes or you know the the month ahead articles and so on. So I didn't find making a video on that topic to be particularly helpful or insightful in many ways. However, for the first time in quite a while, we are getting a essentially mystery quest at the end of February that um, we don't really or thought we didn't know anything about. Uh, recently on the month ahead livestream that Jagex hosted, I believe two days ago, one day ago, something like that, we were given the requirements for this quest, and that's what this quest of the making is really going to be about. We're going to talk about the requirements, talk about what this quest appears to be, and, uh, yeah. So, at the end of February, Jagex will be releasing a new quest, which is intentionally being kept a mystery. Beyond a wee bit of teasing, all uh, that we knew originally was that it was related to Back to the Future in some way, with some, you know, cheeky quotes being tossed around. Um, and that there was something with birds, and that it's a continuation of a Fifth Age story. Um, I know I was all on the Penguins train, Mod Helen was tweeting out some cheeky images of penguins, and I was just 100% sold that, uh, you know, we were getting a new Penguin quest at the end of February. However, a couple things changed that. First and foremost, like I mentioned, we got the quest requirements. Secondly, we got a couple more hints that, especially with the Back to the Future thing, that uh, it wasn't quite related to penguins, after all, it was uh, another type of bird. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the quest requirements, and uh, then I'll get to what this quest is actually. So, the quest's requirements are 37 Slayer, 45 Runecrafting, and 50 Divination. Additionally, Invention has been said to help, but won't be required for the quest. Whatever the quest requirements are, we're not revealed because they didn't want to directly give away what this quest is, but they have essentially given away what this quest is. Anyway, what can these requirements really tell us? Well, the runecrafting requirement is useless. Runecrafting has nothing unlocked at level 45. The divination requirement unlocks the Karamja divination location. Which would be interesting, due to the fact that nature runes unlock at 45, uh, 44, sorry, and they're in the same location. But uh, it doesn't really tell us anything either, because we were told that while this quest requires divination, it's not used to harvest god energy, which is what we harvest during the divination skill. It's something else. The thing that really stands out, though, is that slayer requirement. The divination and runecrafting requirements are very generic in that they're both multiples of five, but 37 Slayer is very specific, and the only requirement that 37 Slayer gives is for, drumroll please, Killer Watts, as anybody who was paying attention probably had figured out already. Um, thanks to Hellring and Vernick, you know, along with me screaming about penguins, um, we are pretty sure that the quest mods Nexus and Helen are making is Ernest the Chicken 2. Or a sequel to Animal Magnetism, but let's be real, it's Ernest the Chicken 2. Um, this is actually the second time I've recorded this video. Um, I recorded it, and then several hours later more information came out, so uh, this is round two. Um, originally in my uh, half script I said it feels like it's closer to Ernest the Chicken 2, but then Hellring went digging even further, and Mod Nexus very helpfully provided a piece of, um, not really concept art, but a, a model of a chicken with the phrase, ROAST ME, written next to it. Um, which, you know, would already scream Ernest the Chicken, except for the fact that right next to it, there's a search that says Ernest, with MQ Ernest Multi Chicken, Ernest, Ernest Multi Chicken, and Ernest Multi Ernest. This is Ernest the Chicken 2 we've got here, which is, in my opinion, a very exciting development. So, with all these references to Back to the Future, however, could we be doing some time travel? Like, it would be... That would be pretty cool. I mean, Professor Odenstein is essentially Doc Brown from Back to the Future, so this would not seem out of place in the slightest. Now, here's where things get a little wonky for me, though. While I'm super, super, you know, interested in this idea of Odenstein playing the role of Back to the Future and more earnest shenanigans, um, we've had enough problems with time travel in the past via the Enchanted Key or the Amsterdruis that I would be surprised if we went directly back to time travel. 
I'm almost more expecting something like peering back into the past, or Odenstein making a machine using killer watts to, you know, snatch something out of the past. Um, while the idea of Back to the Future is hilarious, and maybe, you know, us screwing with the original Ernest the Chicken solution, at the same time, um, I, would, I would be surprised if we went for direct time travel. Uh, still, I'm really down for anything, especially with the wacky sci-fi atmosphere that the entirety of, you know, Draenor Mansion's weird science stuff gives off. Uh, it's also been a very long time since we've had a small-scale quest, especially tackling smaller locations, and with this quest evolving out of TAP, that being a Thursday all-time, all-day, bleh, personal projects, uh, this is definitely a small-scale quest, or at least started that way, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how this evolves. Last year was essentially all giant quests, with only one small thing being turned into a quest after being released as a tale. So this is an interesting, you know, start for this year of quests. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a lot else to talk about. We really only have this one screenshot of the chicken and, uh, you know, the, the various little tidbits of information. But this is almost definitely Ernest the Chicken 2. Um, you know, the Ernest picture gives it away completely. The killer watt requirement is essentially obvious. So, yeah, bring on Ernest the Chicken 2. So, uh, I've been a mascot. Thank you so much for listening to this uh, quasi-episode of Quests in the Making, and I hope you'll stick around for more. If you liked this, please make sure to like, and, uh, you know, check out m my and Kronis' other videos here on this channel. And uh, if you really enjoy it, please hit us up with a subscribe. We'd love to have you back for more content. If you have any thoughts or suggestions, please leave them below in the comments. Like I said, thanks for listening. I've been a mascot, and uh, hope you're having a good one.